Hey everyone, it's Kayla and Nancy. Hi! We are going to be making, uh, as promised, this very fun notepad holder. It's so cute! And if you, we provided the measurements and everything ahead of time. If you haven't seen that, um, I highly suggest going look at the previous Facebook post. Um, otherwise the measurements will be up on our blog after this video. But you can craft along with us. Yes. And Mom's going to show you everything to do. Yes, we're going to walk through it with you guys. And um, these are three of the little notebook uh, or bookmarks or, um, yeah, whatever you want to call them. I can't even think off the bookmarks. hand. The bookmarks. Little tabs, inspirational things. And, uh, yeah, so we are going to get started on this. Um, first, I do want to show you guys something, though. Um, we had made this for a gift for our upline, Rachel Tessman, and her upline, which is our second upline, uh, for a backstage gift. And this was our, 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 um, prototype, oh, excuse me. I was going like, to, I was going to say protocol, <laughs> but I'm like, I know that's not right. Anyway, this was the prototype that I had done. This was the very first one. As you can see, it's kind of wonky. Um, I always do that first before I actually go ahead and make a new one. But um, a few of you had already asked for directions on how to do this. So we are actually going to do a video and post it this following week. Um, we are out of town for a couple days, so it probably won't be until the end. So you want to uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is just a fun little um, album that we had made uh, for a little gift for backstage. So... All right, we're going to put that off to the side. Basically, for this, you are going to need a full piece of cardstock. This is 8.5 by 11. And then I took and cut up a Whisper White piece, which is uh, 4 and 3 fourths by 5.5. Five and, and we're also going to need um, some more, uh, probably 2 inch. Uh, pieces, three of them, uh, that measure about five and a half for the tall one and maybe five and a quarter and then five inches for another one um, for the little uh, bookmarks that we put on the inside. Um, but we'll get back to that a little bit later. So to get started, we're going to move this off to the side and we're going to bring in our trimmer or whatever uh, device that you use for doing your scoring. On our long side here, we are going to, hold on one moment. <laughs> Gotta think. Gotta make sure I give you the right information. Yeah, now I'm looking at these directions and I'm like, well, this don't make sense. It doesn't. <laughs> I was very confused when I was reading. Well, I'm glad you saw that because, you know, all right, hold on one moment. The short, okay. Did I bring my instructions? Hold on one moment. Why didn't you mention that to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, hold on. So... We're actually, I think we're going to need two pieces. Yes, we are, you guys. I oh. do apologize. So we're going to take and cut this first piece. Maybe. If I can grab my other piece. Why was I thinking I only, it's been oh, over a week since I've done this one, and I did creating for our uh, our class to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm all mixed up. All right, so six and a half by eight and a quarter is actually going to be our first cut. We're going to cut at the six and a half, and then we're going to go over to the eight and a quarter. And I thought I had my instructions down really well, but it really didn't make sense. All right, so now we're going to turn it on the sh with the short side up at the top, which is the six and a half mark. We're going to score at the quarter inch mark right here. Okay, there's our quarter inch, and then we're going to do at the half inch mark. All right, now our second piece that we're going to be bringing in is going to measure six inches by eight and a quarter. Hey, can you turn the volume down there? Thanks. <laughs> My son is playing a game, and if you can't hear it, then good. That's good, but <laughs> yeah, we could hear it totally just fine. Okay, so we have those two pieces. Now, we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to score on these lines right here. It's an interesting score technique. Doing how we're going to attach the two pieces? Well, or no, just like how there's two. Why is there two? You'll find out. I'll show you. That what makes it 3D. Somebody, somebody is just very impatient tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm 
I'm patient. I was just asking. I'm trying to make combo so yeah, it's not no, that's awkward okay. silence. That's okay. No worries. All right. So this is actually, we're going to adhere this piece onto this piece right here. Oh. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. And then this quarter inch mark right here is going to be the, where we're going to flip it over and it's going to be the thickness of the notepad. Wow, that's smart. Wow. It's like you planned that. I know, right? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, so what we're going to do on the very edge of this first quarter inch is we're going to put our tear and tape on there. I do recommend using this on here. It is going to go over just a tad bit, but that's okay because we're going to flip it back over onto the sticky um, side. Because that, yeah. Yep. Yep. Got it? Put sticky on the sticky? On the sticky. All right, hold on. There it is. I'm like, I got to use this little handy dandy little edge here because I tear things crooked and then I got tape all over the place okay so now we're going to take off the backing Doo -doo -doo. now what I would suggest is if you want to stamp on this you certainly can um, I did actually do that on my project here but I didn't like the look of it um, you know you certainly can do do that on yours but um for me i didn't like it um all right so now we're just going to adhere this on and going right up to that score line you don't want to go over it and get it lined up nice like that okay so if you can kind of see that and then this will fold right over and then we got the outside done Okay, you are going to have this on the back side, but no one's going to notice that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over here and just give this a good score from the back side here. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm going to open it up. And this is when you can do your stamping on here. Um, we use the, the image. Uh, let me get my kit out here, you guys. We use the big butterfly that comes with this kit, which is right here. So we used that one, but I wasn't very fond with it, so I flipped it inside out, and you can kind of see in the background here what the big butterfly looks like when you're stamping on the outside, if you choose to do so. Um, but I like the look of it without it. So... Um, we are going to leave this plain. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I already cut this out. Um, this is four and three fourths by five. That's going to be our big mat. Then we're going to take um, the card piece that you have in your kit. This is one of the cards, and we're actually going to cut this right off, right down the middle. And I'm going to grab my trimmer. Hey, Kathleen throat feels like she has strep, but... It's just allergies. Oh, That's dear. The worst. Oh, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. I feel for you, lady. I have the sneezes this week. <laughs> the sneezes. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut just a teeny weeny bit off because it looks like I have a little bit of white left on there. And I may not have had it up at the top of the, the trimmer straight enough. So this piece will lay right on top of here. Okay. And then you guys should have a piece in your kit that's already cut for you. That's going to lay right on top of there. So this is actually a very simple piece uh, to put together um, with the measurements that, um, or with just a few, well, I guess it would be one, two, about three pieces of extra cardstock. So you'd need two for the Bermuda Bay and then one for the, wisp, or the basic white, excuse me. So now I'm going to take my tape, if I can find it. Doo -doo, I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Thanks for joining us. Yay. Okay, so now we're going to take the pink one. And we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive. Get that going. I have a poll going on the video, hopefully. Let's see. There we go. Are you a Paper Pumpkin subscriber? If not, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're making this it, card with today. Yes, absolutely. Mostly the Paper Pumpkin kit. Um, 
I love paper pumpkin because especially when you don't want to bring a whole bunch of supplies with you somewhere, it's really easy to just grab the box and go and bring some maybe basic things like a few pieces of cardstock mm -hmm. um, and not have issues like mom's having. Well, I put it, it's hard when I'm sitting down. Yeah, because then you can't I'm, tell. I'm getting it a little kitty wampus, so I'm sorry if it looks a little crooked. Doing this sitting down is a little challenging. <laughs> a little challenging. <laughs> it's a lot of challenge. It, it, it is. Okay, so again, this was uh, four and three fourths for the basic white by five and a half. Let me make sure I got that right. No, 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 no. What I think are I got you it doing wrong. With the measurement, I know that's why I'm like I'm look I'm saying the wrong things. I think five and three fourths by four and a half. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoo. Okay. <laughs> um. Now we're gonna adhere this onto the front. Hopefully I'll get it on straight this time. Yeah, Jean, we are at the camper. That's we why are. Can't see us right now. <laughs> exactly. Hello, everyone. Yeah, Mary's, Mary's here with us. Mary's here. Mary says hi. <laughs> no, Mary's shaking her head at him. <laughs> she is. She always does. She, she's just like, oh my God, she's a mess. <laughs> okay, so we have that on. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one of the butterflies out of our kit. And if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you should have your kit. However, um, you should be able to also uh, purchase the refills that go with this kit as well. Um, and I really should have done that because this kit is so pretty. And it's so easy. You can go step by step. It shows you everything that you need to do. Um, so next we're going to grab our butterfly dimension right here. It's already cut for us. And we're going to adhere that to the front of the Bermuda Bay piece. And um, basically, I am going to be using a little bit of Tombow glue. You can hang on to this and use it as a stencil. Um, and to use it with either our daubers or what else do we have? Those brushes. Those are pretty awesome. Okay, so on here, I am just basically going to dab just a little bit on the thicker areas on here and kind of spreads yeah it does and this tombow glue when it when it dries it is very sticky mm -hmm. and tacky yeah. and so it's you know you don't have to worry about this going anywhere it should stick now I might put just a little bit on a couple of these edges over here um, on the tips because some of these will probably catch on something if you have it in a stack of books or whatnot. Okay, so now we are ready to lay this. Berlay says I have, Berlay, <laughs> why did I say Berlay? <laughs> Bernie said I haven't and haven't used it yet. I oh, have it and I haven't oh, used it yet. Oh, it's such a fun kit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have that on there. Again, super easy to put this together. All the pieces are pretty much punched out for you already. Eventually, we're going to need this, so I'm going to keep that out of my out from my kit. Um, let's see here. Is that I, a die that has all those butterflies on it? Yes, that would work really well with. Oh, this. absolutely. Like, I can't remember what it's called though. Um, is it butterfly blossoms or? Butterfly. It's not Butterfly Brilliance, is it? Oh, that could be. I use this one, but of course, you guys, you got plenty of other ones you can use in here as well. My kit is very well loved this month. We're going to adhere this directly on top of here. We're going to use dimensionals. But before we get too far with that, we're going to take um, one of the circle, uh, circle taps or uh, punched uh, die cut pieces. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, hello. Wow. It's like I've never done this before. It's like you've never talked before. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What the heck? We're going to take our circle. Um, it came on the sheet that had a whole bunch of these already pre die cut for you. And we are going to take our stamp set. And I actually brought my big Bermuda Bay, but it did come with the little mini one. And I'm gently going to peel that off. And on here, I use the one that says, Just a Note of Hope. 
Renee yeah. said, I've been using the blue cap Tombow lately. I like it for paper because it's not as sticky. Mmm. Huh. Interesting. Is that what you have, Mary? The what? The blue cap Tombow glue? The clear bottle? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's a little bit bigger than the green one. Okay. It's the one that I like. And it works just as good as the green one. But to me, it adheres it quicker. I mean, like, the green one, I think you can move around mm -hmm. once you put it down. The blue one, you have to, like, if you're going to put it down and you need to move it, you have to, like, pick it up right away. Interesting. Oh, okay. So with that Tombow. It's, like, stickier. It's, like, really, like, permanent. Huh. Tombow so has a little bit more. Cow. I know. <laughs> what were you doing? I know. I didn't put the lid back on, but that's okay. <laughs> just drop it all Drop in drops. Blue dots in here. <laughs> Glue dots. Glue dots. That's how glue dots are made. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh funny. Okay. I like the blue one better, though, than the green one. Do you really? I do. Interesting. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a couple strips right down the middle here. I'll probably just put one. And we're going to lay it right smack dab in the middle of this particular piece right here. Wow. Jean Sun goes and helps with the sugar beets. Um, in eastern North Dakota. Oh, yeah. He takes vacation all year so he can drive. He he saves his vacation all year so he can drive the truck to haul the beets. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can make some good money doing that. I'm just yeah, saying. So that's all cash for them. Mm -hmm. Cash flow. Yeah. All right. Next, we are going to pop good. this up on dimensionals. And I love dimensionals. You can't go wrong with dimensionals. I should come up with a jingle. <laughs> dimensionals, dimensionals, gotta have your like friends and smelly cat, smelly cat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> dimensionals, dimensionals. Why are you so sticky? <laughs> oh, my God. oh no! Somebody stop her while she's ahead. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're going to just put this. I hope this is that in the middle. That looks like it's in the middle. <laughs> Kathleen said I wouldn't want it to cover up the center and put a circle at the bottom. Yours is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we have that. Now, um, for before we attach this on the front, I want to get the inside pocket done. And how I created that... Um, is actually we're using some more supplies from the inside. Um, where did I put that piece that... Oh, here it is. All right, so this piece was from... Oh, oh shoot, how many dimensionals was that? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. I think it was six. Six, okay. Yeah. So what I did to create the pocket, you could either use um, the... Hold on. I'm trying to read four and a half by, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So for this, uh, we used the other half of the card base that was attached to the pink. Or you could use the one that's attached to the Coastal Cabana one because we're going to be using that one as well. Um, so to create the pocket, we're going to bring in our trimmer again. If I can find it. <clears throat> Julie said, I like the idea of doing another one using the Butterfly Brilliant stamps and dies. Ooh, yes. yes. I think Very it good. Perfect with it. Very good. All right. <coughs> so on here, this was the one half. So we're going to score at three eighths of an inch. So you go up to the quarter inch and then you go over just the one. And we're going to score. We're going to do it again on three of the sides so that we can make a pocket. So the two short sides and one long side. So three eighths of an inch. Are you calling me short? I am because you are short. <laughs> I'm not short. I'm average size. <laughs> She's average, you guys. Oh my gosh. Brene <laughs> come up with, came up with this song. Dimensionals, dimensionals, your puffy sticky foam. <laughs> dimensionals, dimensionals. You're found all over Nancy's home. <laughs> I love oh, it. That was good. That was awesome. <laughs> winner, winner. In the bathroom when you're showering. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was seriously. awesome. 
<laughs> there was a convention uh, on stage that we went to in Orlando, and <laughs> we were at, at a bat in a bathroom. And I looked down, or did I? I looked down, and there was a dimensional on the floor, and I was like, "There's been a crafter here." <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So we, we took that one card base, the other car, uh, half of that pink card base. We scored at the three eighth inch mark. And now we're just going to cut these little uh, squares out in the corners here. This is going to create our pocket for the inside. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a mitering of the corners here. You don't have to miter it too much. But just if I can stop shaking, good lord. I made a joke when we were in the car today. I had my hand on the steering wheel and the steering wheel was shaking back and forth so fast. So I was like, Mom, I'm feeling a little shaky today. <laughs> I looked at her and I just like, hmm. <laughs> You're so really funny. funny. I wasn't amused. She wasn't. <laughs> She's just had a hard day. Oh yeah, don't get me started. No, we're not We're, we're not, not even gonna there. go there. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have that down, we're going to adhere our tape uh, onto here. So here we go. Hang on for the ride, guys. I'm going to do it this way. Not short, fun size. Like the candy bars. Yeah, I'm not short. I'm fun sized. Hey, there you go. Fun size and then bite size. <laughs> for the really, really short people. <laughs> that would be Abby. And she's not really, well, really she's short. not really short. What is she? Anyhow, is she 5'5"? Five, five? Yeah, like maybe 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. Okay. But she's still short. So is Shayla. Short people probs. Short people probs. Oh yeah, we were at uh, Walmart in the cat section getting kitty food. And there was a guy that was trying to reach something way up on the top. Up shelf. I walked right by him. Didn't I knew he was doing something. When I'm in the store, I'm just, I'm like side side you know the blinders side on track, yeah i don't pay attention and all of a sudden i hear andy goes can i help you with that <laughs> he goes yeah do you mind <laughs> oh gosh yeah andy reached up had no problem getting it whatever it was so what are you doing now okay so now i'm just taking off the backing of the double-sided tape and i'm going to fold these sides in Fold them in, fold them in. And then bring the bottom one up because this is going to create your pocket. Pocket. Okay. Your pocket. Pocket. Okay. Just like so. We're going to bring this back in. Now make sure that you have the correct side up um, because we haven't adhered this onto the front. Um, make sure that you're putting it on the front, the, the inside of the front page. Good Lord. Spit it out. You can do it. Hey, yay, yay. So we're just going to put this towards the bottom. Have another beer, Ben. Yeah, have another beer. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I could say that was the problem. Okay, here we go. Shout out to I... those of you who are subscribing to our YouTube channel. Yes, thank you, you so much. Just hit 800 subscribers on YouTube. If you're not over there, make sure you're subscribed so then you get notifications every time we post yes, new tutorials. Absolutely. Okay, so now I put this one up a little bit higher. I wanted to see what it looked like. The other one I put down probably about another half inch down. Um, it'll work both ways, whichever you choose. Um, so now this piece was already cut for us. I'm just going to adhere this to the front. Um, I do have tape Maybe. around if I can find that. I, I, you know, you guys, we barely have anything out, and I feel like I've just created a huge mess. Isn't that crazy how that works when you're what creating? Okay, so now we're just going to lay this right on top of here. Why do I have the Glade song in my head now? Um, Glade, rub it in, rub it in. Plug it in. Plug it in, <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> well, you do not rub Glade in. What? Well, I don't know. I thought I was like, rub it. No, no, um, okay. Plug, oh, plug, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. What did in. I say, guys? I said something earlier to that tune, but I can't remember. Um, you're probably singing. Um, let's grab this piece out here while we're here, while it's here. Um, this one right later. here. Next, we are going to find the pieces that are already die cut for us. And we're going to find the word hope, if I can find it. I know we had another one in here. What did I do with it? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
Nancy and her random singing. I know, right? It's in here somewhere, you guys. See how nice and organized I am? <laughs> well, we're going to need this envelope. I think we're going to need that envelope. And we're going to need this envelope. Okay, so we got those. We got those. Hi, Jan. Oh, is it still smoky over in Oregon? Oh, Oregon. No. Oregon. 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 <laughs> okay. You guys, I swear I had another hope in here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay, you know what? I guess I don't. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, maybe make a German one. Oh, uh, yeah. Souver. I can't read upside down. Okay. Sue Verschik. Verschik. Is it this one? Verschik. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are going to put this up on dimensional. Wait, which one are you using? This one. Does it say hope? Yeah. Okay, because this probably was hope and this is the German one. Yeah. Sue Verschik. Okay. So we are going to add dimensionals onto here. Are you keeping track? Oh, no. Well, okay. I can't add them because we're not at Oh, home. you're not. No? Oh, dang. Super secret is confidence and trust. Hmm. Okay. This we're going to put. Assurance. It's kind of. Assurance? Like, gimutely I feel like there might not be a direct translation to that. Okay. In English. Who knows? We have that on. Now we're going to go to the front and we're going to add this piece on. So, to add this piece, we're going to leave dimensionals off in the middle portion because that's where our ribbon is going to go. So we're going to adhere some dimensionals on. This takes a lot of dimensionals, you guys. I'm just saying. It's a perfect project for me. And I'm going to probably leave a little area right here. You know, for the ribbon to go through because the ribbon that they supplied in the kit is a nice thick ribbon. Works perfect for tying this album together or this little notebook together. Or a gun. Or, or a gun. 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 Why? Gun. Or a 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 gun? <laughs> <laughs> Must be the Norwegian in us. <laughs> okay. Only 12 dimensionals. Only. All right. So I used a lot of ribbon on here. Um, you can use as little or as much as you want, but I like to have a big bow on this one. So completely up to you. I didn't measure. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to use my ribbon scissors, cut that right across. Um, I know what some people do with this. It does fray just a tiny bit, but what you can do um, that I know of, oh, hi, Charlie. Oh, it's Charlie. Charlie's going to join us. Um, what I know, oh, right through the camera. Okay. okay. <laughs> there you go, Kayla. There you go, sir. Yeah. He, he okay. wants, yeah. Sorry. Oh. oh. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. All right, so um, I've heard where some people take and quickly burn the ends with a lighter or a match. Um, I've never done that before. Don't I'm trust afraid <laughs> I don't trust myself either. Probably burn the place up. Um, There's a type of glue though that you can get that holds thread. Okay. Like they do use it in sewing and. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I can't remember what it's called. You can also use fingernail polish. Clear fingernail <gasps> polish will do, do that. Oops, we didn't take these backings off, you guys. <gasps> Kathleen said the ribbon's not in the refill kit. No! No! Seriously? Oh, that's a bummer. That's good to know, though. Thank you for sharing that. I had no clue. I haven't even been out there to look. I'm going to see what one might be a really good... What would be a good match for this? Um, Depending upon your colors, we got a white one. Um, a good thick one would be the silver, the gray. Ooh, the evening ever evergreen chevron weave ribbon might be good. This look, nope, that's the too high. Smoky slate textured ribbon might be good. Yes, the smoky slate one is the one. Pale papaya about. woven ribbon might be good. Okay, guys, so now we have that on there. Highland um, Heather grow grow grain ribbon. Next, we're going to work on our notebook. And I did have my notebook somewhere. 
Basket weave and metallic ribbon combo oh, pack. Oh, sweetie. Andrew. No. Can you look in that um, gray book over there on the couch? In the front, um, there book. should be a little... Oh, forget it. I found it. She found it. I found it. The petal pink organdy stri stripped striped Every time. ribbon. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Every time, you guys, I did that to Mary, like right before we went. I said, can you go in the room and get that? Can you look in that laundry basket that's right over there? And... um. And she's like, sure, she gets up and starts walking around, and she's looking, she's like, there's no, there's no laundry basket in here. Here I look right by my feet was the laundry basket. Have you ever done that before? Yes. Yeah, I've done, I've done uh, that many, many times. You did that with the glue the other day, too. Did I? And you reached over, and the glue Oh, was right yeah. Inside. It was, like, right here. Yeah. And she reaches over on top of it, because she was so mad. She was looking for it. I'm, like, wearing... Yeah. Gre finds the other glue, and then she's like, oh, shoot. I did it right in the video, didn't I? Speaking of glue, yes. Bernay said the glue is called Drip Spray Check oh, yeah. for the ribbon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's used in sewing. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Remember that, Kayla. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Kayla, my blade went somewhere. Everything. Yeah, I remember everything. Shh. Shoot. What did you forget? I dropped my blade. Has anybody seen my blade? Oh, oh I found it. It's right blade. here. It's right here. Who does that? I did. It <laughs> fell off. <laughs> the heck? It <laughs> fell off. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is, what are you doing? AMS, where did you get the glue holder? We got it as a gift uh, and it was on, uh, we got a gift from Vicky. It was on Etsy. I think she bought it. C-U-J-O-3-D. Kujo 3D. Okay. There's tons of them out there, though, on Etsy. Anyway. Okay, so let me think here. I got to look at my... Okay, so on this, this is another card base um, that you get in your kit. We're going to use the, the colored side, the Coastal uh, Cabana one. We're going to cut this to one and one eighth. Oh, that didn't go all the way down. There we go. I found the exact one. And then we're going to do it the long way and cut it at five inches. So five by one and one eighth. Okay. Ta-da! And then, oh, we still need this. I'm sorry. We <laughs> need to score at a quarter of an inch. So we're going to go slightly in. There we go. I'm going to gently leave my hand up there. And a quarter of an inch. I got it off just a tiny bit, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to give this a little bit of a burnish. And then, for this particular one, what I am using is our Tombow glue. Um, you certainly can use uh, your tear and tape. I found that I wanted to have a little bit of wiggle room when I was putting this on the black top just to make sure I had it lined up correctly. So, a little bit of Tombow. Actually, that was a lot of Tombow. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. I was looking at it, I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, that's what happens when I, when I craft and, yep, see, right there. I, I craft and... Don't get my measurements quite right. So if I was you guys, measure your notebook because this one, I think, came down a little bit further on my notebook, on this particular one. And this is a 5 by 8? Yeah, I believe, I believe that's what you measured it at. Yeah. 5 by 8, yes. So now I got a little bit of black hanging down, which is fine. It just adds a little bit of an accent. Um, but when you go to do yours, why don't you go ahead and measure the the black to the top and then add a quarter inch up here okay because it worked out just perfect on my last one Bernie says she loves how you're covering that up yeah it's the small details it is it is now another thing is you can stamp uh, your greeting that we're gonna stamp on here beforehand um, I'm gonna try which I did on my last one but I wanted to try it on stamping on here to see how well it does um, because 
on my last one that I did, it kind of got up a little higher than what I wanted the saying, but it still worked, okay? And that needs to be glued down again. Um, but see how these measurements worked out really perfect, whereas this, the, the black piece is hanging down a little bit more. Um, but the, the saying was up a little further than what I wanted, so I was going to give it a try uh, stamping on the book to see how that works out. And if it doesn't work out, then you guys know. Okay, so what did I put on the inside? Where there is faith, miracles happen. So that would be this long one down at the bottom. Hi, Hilda Nell. Hi, Hilda Nell. Okay, so we're going to take that, set it in our ink, bring our notepad over here again, and give this a whirl, you guys. Wish me luck. See if this works. Give it a whirl. That's a, that's a die set. Do, do, do. It is. Look at you. Give it a whirl. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. And you guys. Give it time to let the paper soak up. Ooh, that works out really good, guys. Wow. Look at that. That works out good stamping on there. You get it exactly where you want it. Wow, that is really pretty. It was a good stamp, too. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to wash this off. Where there's faith, miracles happen. Give that a good wash in. I like that font. Yeah, I do too. It's really pretty. Apparently the notebook company is a little lax on their standards. <laughs> I know, right? How could they be so off? Oh, I think we need to write them and, and complain. And complain. Maybe they'll <laughs> give us some free notepads. Just what we need. Okay, so then on this one, I just added a couple butterflies on the ends. Shutting. And Charlie's back. Yay. Oh, Charlie boy. Charlie boy. Okay, Charlie. perfect. Charlie. And I kind of like the way that my, my ink, for some reason, I think I need to spread the ink out. Um, my ink pad is a little drier in some places because it's kind of given the butterflies a little bit of a ombre look. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that is nice and clean. And I think... Hildenel says that looks cute. Oh, thanks. It was fun. Okay, so now we're done with that ink. I'm going to move that off the side. Now this comes the fun part. Um, no, we're not using dimensionals, but we're going to be using tear and tape. And uh, we're going to use this to put on the inside. <coughs> Sorry. i got to find my little... Little, little thing. Your little, little? That little thing right there. I'm going to put some there. I'm going to put some way up at the top here. And this really does hold it really nice in place. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Put it close to the edges. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Pam asked, has Charlie ever walked in the ink pad? Oh. Luckily not. Um... Yeah. Um, but he, somebody walked in something white at her <laughs> desk at home and there's paw prints everywhere. Yeah. Like what the heck? So I yeah. don't know if it was crafting ink or like the white crafting. Or in, or um, embossing powder embossing maybe. Powder, yeah. I, it was just, all you see is white yeah. paw prints. Paw prints so. all over the gray pad that we have on our desk. And that could have been Max or it could have been Charlie because they both have white paws. So it could have been Indigo because he he likes to walk. He likes to take food, and he'll take his paw. Oh yeah. Or he he drops it in the water. He he has and a, then, a yeah a, a permanent wet foot. <laughs> it's always wet. He likes to have his his dry food wet. I guess. He so drops, he takes it, it drops, drops the food it. in the water, and then he grabs it out of the water. And then eats it. And then eats it with his paw. So he's always got a wet paw. <laughs> so it could have been him that was walking around with a wet paw. Who knows? And then stepped in some powder or something. Yeah, he's a goofy kitty. He's fun, though. We, we, he's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Cat gang, they will never tell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in the middle of the night. Hurry up, Mom's sleeping. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, she's waking, she's waking, abort, 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 abort. <laughs> okay, guys, so now with this, I just laid it um, so that it was even on each sides. Hopefully I have it straight up there. I have no clue. 
we're just gonna go with it. Andy says that's how it works. Pretty much. <laughs> Especially with my my adult kids too. Alright, so we're just gonna give this a good burnish back here. I was, I was joking with mom. She always says, let's give it a good burnish. And I'm like, well, what if it's a bad burnish? <laughs> What's, what is a bad what is burnish? A bad one? Uh, Hilda Nell said, is that ink on the top of your bone folder? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, I will, you know, move so, the ink around and then just wipe it off and clean it. And yeah, it's been, it's stained. It's well loved. It doesn't get transferred. Though, nope, so. it doesn't. Uh -uh. I make sure I clean it really this well. This but... one too because the Stampin' Up logo is in the box. Is that the Out of the right? box. Nope, this is a really old one. It's probably one from like back in the day. Um, back in, my back day. in the day, which was like you know, two thousand four, two thousand five. Before my time. Okay, so now that we have those done, we're gonna move on to our tags, um, and then we're gonna do our decorating with all the fun little sparkly glitters and all that kind of stuff. So what I suggest, you could also use, you could cut these if you want. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut two inch strips off of the uh, extra piece of paper that we have. And we're going to be adhering some of the pretty paper that is from the envelopes. Um, I couldn't resist the designs that were on there. So we are going to go with that. And I made three. Um, you can make more if you want. Definitely. Um, we actually do need to keep this in um, in focus here. All right, so we are going to be using these three. And first we're going to open up the papers. Now, I just gently um, went through here and kind of got it as best as I could. Um, what you could do is you could take and heat it up, and it would make the glue a little bit less sticky. Um, and it might open up a little bit better for you. Um, heating it up with like a, a heat gun or steam of some sort, um, pot of water on the stove. Um, that way it would give it a, sometimes you get it too thin here. And like here, you can kind of see through the envelope just a tiny bit. But I found even though I did that on a colored piece, when you would hear it to the background of white, you don't even see through it. You can't even tell. Oh no. Jill said, I forgot about you guys. Oh, Jill. Jill. Oh, Jill. How could you? Just kidding. <laughs> it was Kayla's fault. No, it wasn't. You guys <laughs> gotta stop blaming me for stuff that I'm not even involved in. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Okay, so we have that one, and we have this one to open up. And I just picked and choose where I wanted my design. Um... And I went from there. Uh, let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off because that is right where part of the design is, right on that crease line there, that score line. Okay, and I'm going to use this piece. And we are going to cut, da, 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 let's go, I'm going to cut it this way. I'm going to cut it to try to get it as straight, just to make it as square as I can on the four corners. Okay, so we're just taking off these rounded edges. <laughs> Jill and said, poor little Kayla. <laughs> it's Kayla's fault. Yeah, Jill said it's always Kayla's fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that I have this piece where I want it, I'm gonna cut off at the two inch line. It's just like we got a piece of designer series paper, you guys, look at that. Ta-da, isn't that cool? All right, so now I got that one done. On here, again, I'm going to cut this piece off. It's a little bit smaller. The design is down, not as far down, but that's okay. It'll still work. Um, let's see here. That's our straight edge, so we're going to cut straight here. Oop. And... Cut that round. I guess I don't have to do that side. I guess I'm just used to doing that. So, can you guys hear the people screaming at our campground? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, now there's like a sock. Oh, oh a boy. drill. A oh, drill? boy. Okay, again, at the two inch mark. And one more to go, you guys. Here we go. And I'm actually going to do, I want the butterfly. I'm not going to do the envelope piece. I want the butterfly, Mom. Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, what the world? What the world? What the world? Oh, I've had that happen to me. What the what? Wow, what the what? Okay, so we got that. It's just trimming off the extra pieces that you don't need. And you can honestly use those pieces anywhere that you want. If you want to add more texture, more depth, more popped up images, you certainly can do so. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it over because, again, I want this at the two inch mark. Right there. And I suggest you guys go slow when you cut because if you go too fast, for some reason it tears the fibers in the paper. I have no idea. It did it before for me and it's doing it again. Okay. So, now we got a short one, so that's probably going to be my shortest one. These two could be really tall ones. Um, but to start off with, I took, hold on, I'm trying to manage my, here's our pieces of paper. And I'm just going to adhere these directly on top of our cut Whisper White. <laughs> these are kind of too thin. I mean, if you like thin bookmarks, you certainly can leave them thin. But I chose to glue them on. So we're just going to adhere those on really quick. I think Bob and Ross are back. Are they? I don't know. Oh, my dad's probably going to come in and just blah, 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 blah. Jill, Jill asks, where's Charlie? Charlie. He was just walking across the screen not too long ago. Yes, he was. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. okay. Bernice said, how much alcohol is at the campground? I feel like I'm missing fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Oh, there's Charlie. Oh, there's Charlie. There's Charlie. There's Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Boy. Okay. Okay. Big Thank boy. you. Bye. Okay. Oh, oh now you no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just make yourself at okay. home there, sir. Okay. Time to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> there you go. Come here. He's oh, like, I don't no, want to. Nope. Not mom. Not mom. <laughs> He's such a mama's mom. boy. All right, so all I did is cut, uh, I'm going to cut those off, but I'm going to glue these on first. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, Pam said it's so funny you ladies chose today to do notepads because I just got home from Walmart and just bought me some some pads. Nice. <laughs> going to make a few to sell at our town's birthday oh. next weekend. Oh, fun. Oh, awesome. Love it. That's perfect timing. Awesome. I'm hoping to, to hear get it. the correct measurements up on our blog here after we're done with this video. Yes, so yes. So you have those. Yeah, very simple, quick, you know, I'm farting around by getting details, you know, but you don't have to go as detailed, you know, on these, but... Um, and you don't have to have the paper pumpkin to make this. You no. You just decorate it with whatever color coordinating cardstock you want. Oh, and that's the wrong piece. Any of the designer series paper, die cuts. Absolutely. You could recreate some of these with uh, the blending brushes and some ink if you want. Mm -hmm. Some stencils. Yes. Okay. So now that I have these, I am going to probably cut these off here in just a minute. But before I do that, I'm actually going to do some stamping. Um, I did stamping on my other one. Sorry, you guys. I got to get some of this out of my way because it's driving me bonkers. All right, there we go. All right, so I forgot the name of this. I don't have it labeled, but I believe it is in the annual catalog. This is the tag punch that we're going to be using. Um, I do believe we have three other ones. There's so many different ones. We have dies that you could actually use to die cut these out as well. Um, but I found it easier just to take the tag punch this and is... use that. Ooh, oh, sweet. Bob got beer. My dad got beer. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to take and put our little butterfly on the block. Do, do, do. And we need our ink pad that I just got out of my way. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop. Hello. All right, so I'm just going to stamp the couple of these wherever. Okay, clean that one out and then go to the next... Go to the next so stamp. Sorry. 
Didn't mean to cough that Kayla's long. had like a cough forever and a day, and I'm uh, not kidding. Six weeks? Is it six weeks now? Yeah. Good God. She even got medicine last weekend for it. Uh, two Was weeks it last? ago. Two weeks ago, and she still has it. I, as her mom, I'm like, have you made an appointment? Have you made an appointment? Nope. Nope. All right. So I'm we're going to put hope in the middle of this one. Okay. Sorry for wiggling, guys. All right. So we got that one. And then I think I chose, let's see here. There is faith. Okay. Take that one. This one's a little longer to fit this way, so I did it at an angle. Why not? Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Oh, speaking, I just started... Th we... Oh. What? Has anybody watched the Bob Ross show on Netflix? OMG. I watched it. That poor guy. I didn't watch it. You I, watched it I, without me. I did. I couldn't wait no more. I'm like, I got to watch it. So Andy and I watched it together, and it was really good. It was really good. Jill said, whiskey in a dirty glass will cure what ails you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting these off. The what? The Bob Ross documentary. Yes. Well, is it a documentary? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, well, it's, yeah, it's his son, Steve, and friend, and, yeah, uh, talk about things that... Kind of went crooked. People, these people that he worked with were very, very crooked. 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 All right. So now we're going to go ahead and slide these in here. And we're going to give it a punch. Do, do, do. I like to turn it over to make sure I have it in all the way. You should, yeah, you could also tell them like the correct way to do that. If you have sore wrists, what you can do is you turn it. I guess this one you can't really, but... You just push down like this, and that way you don't have to, or you have sore yeah, from fingers, doing that. you know, this. Just put it down and push down, and that will help. Okay. Thanks, Kayla. Yeah. All right, so as Kayla was saying, there's a Charlie hair right here. Go like that. Get it where you need it. Push Easier, down. Easier, because then you can use the force of your whole arm instead of your just your fingers, mm -hmm. your hand grip. Mm-hmm. All right, sad to tell you guys, I forgot my ribbon at home, but I will show you how I did my ribbon on top of these in one moment here. Okay. Okay. So I stamped these a little bit different, which is perfectly fine. We're going to add these little butterflies and some gems. But basically what I did is I thread through. This is the um, soft succulent ribbon here. And uh, down more, they can't oh see. oh I'm sorry, <laughs> soft succulent. This is the uh, polished pink. <laughs> You're gonna say pretty pink. I was <laughs> polished pink. She's got to move my hands, you guys. Yeah. Because I'm a little baby. I don't know what I'm doing. Nope. <laughs> I mean, anyway. you're, you're playing with ribbon, so. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this is fresh free shop, and then I took um the twine, the white twine that comes in the pack of like four or five. Um, in the annual catalog, and then I just tied a, 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 a bow around it on these ones. So, um, also in the kit, you should have a little uh, embellishment. Uh, if I can find it, it's you know we're up north at our camper. Do, do, do. Okay, so here we go, right there. And I know I had another little teeny tiny floating around, but. That's okay. So basically, all I did is I adhered these little punched out ones here. You have a yellow and a pink one. Adhered them on with a glue dot and added some sequins onto them. And so we'll just pretend those are the ones that I did. We'll put that off to the side. Did the ribbon, made them look all nice and pretty. And then we'll bring this in and put this in here. Doo -doo. Now, Kayla has information over on our blog, and she'll have this video linked in there. Um, I can't remember. Do you have the uh, instructions or the measurements? I have the measurements, but you kind of messed up on the measurements here, and 
uh, oh what you're yes so i need to correct yes. them before i publish the post okay okay so yep that's fine yes um <laughs> okay so hold on one moment normally it shouldn't take you this long oh, to make shouldn't. something mom's just very detail oriented i am and i i i just can't not finish a project so you and know. she has to go over overboard we were talking that um i make the simple cards so if there's like a tutorial we have to do like our make it in minutes videos um we literally need to make those in minutes and mom obviously can't do that i can't unless she i can do the videos unless she designs it and then she doesn't have time to do the video i will record the video but um yeah that i mean that's just the way we we roll so um, on this particular one, I added um, some more of the pre-cut butterflies that are in the set um, in your kit. I added these up on dimensionals, and then I added the sequins that came in the kit as well right here. So yeah, so that's it, you guys. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, you don't have to go as elaborate as I did on some of these, uh, you know, the designing or whatever. But yeah, you want to leave a little bit for... Uh, extra for the tie in the ribbon or the bow I always say that tie the ribbon and actually I didn't leave enough on here but that's okay um, I like to have a big big bow but yeah so that's pretty much it you guys if you have any questions please please let me know um, you can also put another small little thing on the back of here um, that says to and from and um, that'll help keep this ribbon in place just make sure you put dimensionals on either side so that this will just sit in between but yeah you can put a to and from and yeah give it to someone I, if you make your own version of this or you copy it go feel feel free to copy it but if you make your own version and tweak some things we'd love 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 to see your pictures of this in our exclusive Facebook group it's under exclusive stamping before anything else um, and we accept everybody that joins and it's really fun we post some exclusive tutorials in there as long as you, yeah as long as it's not a post. business page you gotta join as yourself yep join as your personal facebook page and then we accept yeah so yep -a doodle isn't that cute i love it i thought it was fun it's and it's so cute. it's so easy i mean so easy to it make it should not take you an hour to make like mom did yeah no i well it's hard you know i mean Especially when you don't have all your supplies around And you. they're not, yeah, that's the biggest part for me is like, all right, I got to start searching for things. And you think you're ready and you're not. Yeah. You're not. You never are. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us Thank on this you. Saturday. Um, like I said, please share your pictures with us. We'd love oh, to see it. Oh, absolutely. Please do. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. We will get the blog post up with these measurements here shortly. Just got to correct a few things and then we will post um, a notice on our Facebook page and group. So you have that. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome, everyone. Thanks so much. Take care and we will see you on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye.